Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you how you can add a video virtual background, filters, and also characters in Microsoft Teams. Teams doesn't support this out of the box. However, we're going to use a third-party app called Snap Camera to bring all of this functionality in. So what are some examples of what you can do? Here, I can set up video virtual backgrounds. I can also dress up as different characters, and there are lots of characters to choose from. I could even apply different color effects to my video. There are many, many different options. In fact, if you're feeling creative, you can even create your own. Oh, those are some nice effects. Why don't we jump on the PC and let's start using them. Here I am on my PC, and first off, I wanna show you how you can get Snap Camera. To get Snap Camera, head to the website snapcamera.snapchat.com. I've also included a URL in the description of this video. You can just click on that, and that'll bring you to this website. The nice thing about Snap Camera is this works on both Windows and on Mac. If you've ever used Snapchat before, this is the same company, and they make Snap Camera, so you can get similar types of lenses directly on your your PC. Once you land on the website, click on download and run through the installation process. Once you finish installing Snap Camera, go ahead and launch the application. Once you launch it, you'll see an experience that looks just like this. Now we want to start having some fun, so let's apply our very first lens. Down below, here I can see a bunch of featured lenses, and the one called Baby sounds really interesting. I'm going to click on that one. Right up above, you can now see a preview of that lens. And look at that, you are now getting a tech tutorial from a five-year-old. Congratulations! These kids these days, they are really tech savvy. Right here, if I want to turn off this lens, I could simply click on the lens again, and that'll toggle it back to my normal camera. So here I could toggle it on, and I could toggle it off. I kind of like having the young kids, so I'll leave that there. When I hover over the lens, in the top right-hand corner, there's an ellipsis. I could copy the lens link, or I could download a snap code. These are just two simple ways that I can share this lens with others. If you find a really cool lens that you like, feel free to share it in the comments down below. Also, when I hover over this lens, in the top left-hand corner, here I see a star. If I click on this, this will add this lens to my favorites. So up here in the left-hand corner, I can click here and I can quickly get back to any of my favorite lenses. And to make it even faster, I can also assign shortcut keys to these different lenses. This will be especially helpful when we're in Microsoft Teams and you want to quickly turn a lens on or if you want to toggle it off. Right up here, we can click on this lens hotkeys icon. This opens up a pane with all of my different favorite lenses, and I can assign a hotkey to any one of these. Here, for example, I have this really creepy looking lens, and I wanna assign a shortcut or a hotkey to it so I can easily activate it. Here, I'll click in this field, and let me press the shortcut key. I'll go with Control F1. Next, I'll click on Save. Now I can click on back and back in the main interface to activate this new lens, I'll press control F1 and look at that. I now have my creepy lens in place. In a moment, we'll put this to use, but for now I'm gonna switch back to the baby. Also within this experience, let's say you have a specific lens in mind, you can very quickly search for it. Maybe you love cats. You can type in cats here and you can see all of the lenses that use a cat. Also, over on the right-hand side, you can see a history of all of the lenses that you've applied to yourself. Also, over on the left-hand side, there's this camera icon, and when you click on this, you can take a photo of yourself using your lens, or you could record a video of yourself. Now, we wanna get this into Microsoft Teams, so let's take a look and see what some of these lenses are. Right up across the top, we have a whole bunch of different featured lenses, and here I can just click on any one of them, and that'll apply the lens to me. Look at this, I have all these nice flowers on my face. Right down here, there are all these different categories of lenses, and then there are also top community lenses. Earlier, I mentioned that it's pretty easy to create your own lens. Let's jump into some of these categories just to see what the different options are. Here within the category, I can see a whole bunch of lenses created by Snap Inc. So these are the official lenses. Right here, I'll click on Night City, and I now have my own video virtual background. Teams doesn't support it, but now you can get this capability by using Snap Camera. Over here, I'll add the Aurora to my video. Let's go back and let's check out a different category. I'll click into Funny. Within Funny, here again, I have all of these different lenses that I can choose from. And one of my favorites is Cookie Head. I'll click on the favorite icon. 
for the Kevin Cookie Company, we could use this in our next commercial. We'll have a talking cookie head. Remember, order your cookies today at thekevincookiecompany.com. Back on the main screen, here too, not only can I choose characters, I can also choose different color effects. So just like in Snapchat here, maybe I wanna apply a rainbow to my image. There are tons and tons of options, and I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun going through and checking out what all these different lenses or effects are. Hopefully by now you're starting to get a sense for all of the different options. There are tons and tons of different lenses that you can choose from. But instead of just enjoying it by yourself, why don't we jump over to Microsoft Teams and I'll show you how you could turn it on there. This way other people can enjoy it too. Maybe your coworkers, maybe your students. All right, let's jump into Teams. Here I am in Microsoft Teams, and I have a meeting coming up today with an ex-employee of the Kevin Cookie Company, Adele Vance, and we're gonna discuss who stole a recipe. And I think Snap Camera can help me with this discussion today. Here I see that my camera is currently turned off, and I wanna use Snap Camera. Right down here in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a gear icon. When we click on this, this opens up device settings over on the right-hand side. And at the very bottom, you can select your camera. Here you'll see all of the different cameras connected to your computer. And you also see virtual cameras. Snap Camera is a virtual camera. Once you install it, you should now see that as a new option in your menu. Select Snap Camera and now turn your camera on. Right here now, I can see my video. And if I go back over into Snap Camera, and here I'll select the baby filter or lens, here now you'll see it showing up in Microsoft Teams. And that's how easy it is. Let's now join this meeting and let's see how it works. Okay, so here I am in the meeting and it looks like Adele has already joined. Now today, I wanna try to get some evidence that she sold off our secret recipe. So let's see how this works and I'll use Snap Camera to pull this off using some of our hotkeys. Hey Adele, uh, first off, thanks for hopping on. And if you don't mind, I wanna record this meeting today. I'll just go right down here and let's start the recording. Now Adele, I don't know if you heard, but one of our competitors recently got their hands on our secret recipe. Do you know anything about that? Oh, that's terrible, of course not. Although I will say that is kind of funny. Uh, yeah, Adele, that's not really funny. That's risking our company's future and all of our revenue. I don't know why you would say that's funny. I'm gonna put it on mute for just a moment here, but we don't really seem to be making that much progress with Adele. So let me test out Snap Camera to see if I could talk some sense into her. Hello, Adele, this is your conscience speaking. You should admit to stealing the recipe. Otherwise, it's going to eat at you for the rest of your life. Uh, hey, hey, Adele, I lost you there for a second. Are you, you cut out? Are you still there? Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. It was me who took the recipe. I'm so sorry. All right, well, that's how you can use Snap Camera in Microsoft Teams. I would love to hear which one is your favorite lens. Feel free to share down below. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you wanna see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a note down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.